Welcome back to Let's Play Higurashi Makashi. That literally took a minute to freaking load properly there. Uh, oh. I thought there was gotta be no sound for a second there. Continue. Will this be the finale? The grandest finale of them all? Possibly, but I said the same about last time. Well, it probably didn't word it like that, but you get the idea. June 1983 with lag. There has been a series of disappearances in Edebiza village, Shishobana City, Blah Prefecture. The suspect is Mion Sonozaki, blah, years old, I think she's like 17 or something like that. Allegedly, she abducted five Hinamizawa and residents, sorry, Sonozaki, Shion Sonozaki, Kichiro, Kimiyoshi, Rika, Freddy, and Sadaka Hacho, and imprisoned them from June 19 through the 21st. Preliminary investigations on the incident were delayed at the time due to insufficient evidence, but by chance the case was solved rather abruptly. On the morning of the 22nd, the vehicle patrolling the Sonosaki property heard screams from inside and rushed in as an emergency measure. They secured the suspect's missing younger sister, Shion Sonosaki, and her two missing classmates, Keiji Maibara and Reina Ryugu. The suspect fled the scene. Found hair, pieces of skin, and blood of the four missing people Oya Sonazaki, Kichiro, Kimiyoshi, Rick Freddy, and Sadaka Hojo in the torture room that was discovered in the basement of the outbuilding on the Sonazaki family property. Supposedly, that's where they were killed. We conclude that the victims were tortured in that torture room. However, their remains have still not been found. Check the well, man! Oh, but that's well hidden, really, isn't it? According to one of her imprisoned classmates' advice, the body should be somewhere in the basement of the outbuilding where the torture took place. However, nothing has been uncovered as of yet, including the escape route the suspect took. In addition, investigations continued regarding any possible connection to the series of mysterious deaths in recent years. But no evidence that Mion Sonazaki was involved, either directly or indirectly, has been found. There are still many unclear points as to the motive behind the incident, and as those of the Sonazaki family and residents of Inubizawa have been extremely uncooperative in assistance, we expect to require a long time to clarify them. I suppose they would keep quiet about something like that. The opinion of a local officer knowledgeable about the region is that this may have been a lynching, an internal form of punishing sacrilegious acts carried out against the beliefs of Inubizawa village. I bet that was Oishi that said that. It is clear that these incidents are particularly rooted in this region. The Prefectural Police Department has ordered a cautious investigation. Can I ramble now? <laughs> Notification on Facebook. Uh, is it gonna transition or do I have to press a button here? Hello? Oh, you're continuing on then. Anticipated gating valuable clears from the missing person believed to have been in prison for the longest time, Jion Sonzaki, the suspect younger sister, who is actually the one behind it all, but you'll never know that. Now, the incident has left such serious mental after effects that she has not been in a state of mind to properly answer any questions about what she knows. The psychiatrist concluded that she is in a temporary state of shock, but as of today, she has yet to show any improvements. You know, in Watanagashi, before I forget, I think, like, Keiichi learnt about the well, but, you know, uh, I think there was a scene, like, in that where it was like, hey, uh, we found a well, and we found this and that, and it led to this and that, and it was just like, how? I don't understand. And I was just now realizing, I don't, f 
think that was ever revealed. <laughs> now we know all about that well, but they don't really find out till later on, do they? So, a moment. Roy, where was I? Oh, yes. Fuck it. Where's the day? Because, well, didn't really have time for the words of the day when it was auto text. You know what, let's actually see if we can find a word that could fit all this, like it did last time. Final Saigono. <laughs> I just find it really confusing how it's worded in the dictionary. Oh wait, no, I was looking at the one underneath it. Okay, so that is Saigoni. No, that's finally. I was looking at the wrong one again. Finally, Saigono. And then it's got like that's for adjective. Then it's got a noun, Kesho Sen. And I'm just like, so which one's right? Are these? Oh man, that is confusing, man. So you got Saigono, right? And then it just like gives a noun demonstration of some sort where it ends like, uh, actually, no. I don't even know. That is confusing. Then it's like Kesho Sen, which is nothing like the other one. But then again, I have mentioned. Yep, these words tend to have different readings depending on the context. Why would you do that, Japan? You make kanji even more confusing than it already is! I was acting at first, it was just an act to avoid being interrogated by the police. As it turns out, though, fake insanity can't become real. You see, I couldn't bear it any longer. I could need to be haunted by the presence or any you would talk about. It was so close that it could almost touch my back. It wasn't Satoshi Kun, and it wasn't a hallucination. It had become Shion's ghost. Shion didn't go to heaven after all. She was always by my side instead. Shion didn't like the fact that I was still alive when she wasn't. So she had decided to haunt me until she witnessed my death. Every night she whispered to me, telling me to die. I get it. I get it. Ha 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 That's probably more of a... <sighs> I shouted at the Shion at my back. Through my mouth she shouted back at me. It must look odd to other people. They'd think I was arguing with myself. It's not fair. Why are you still living, sis? Die, die, die already, Shine! You said you'd die right after you killed me. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. It's so dark and cold in this well, it's cold, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Yeah, you know, that's classic right there, isn't it? It's cold, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. That's classic kind of creepy ghost haunting shit right there. I get it, I get it! Shut up! What exactly do you get, sis? You won't die in the way you want to. You're just running away. You're trying to survive even after you did all those horrible things. You'll never be forgiven. You're cursed. You're cursed. You're destined to die. It's like Final Destination. <laughs> shut up, Shion! You're just a ghost, so shut up. Shut up! Sis, sis, you lousy shit! Fuck off! It's not fair, it's not fair, you and I always be together, even after death. So Mia and I have come to take you with me. Mia! She's fighting with herself, isn't she? Bang, bang, ba bang, ba bang. She unbanged on the door. Bam, ba bang, ba bang. That noise is too loud! It's cracking my ears and my head open. Sean's trying to break in. Ah, shit, all right, Sean, I get it. I think we will be nice to be cursed to death by you, isn't it? Don't be going so easily. You know, didn't she say, like, she kind of ironically 
I don't know if it counts as ironic. But when she, like, knocked w me on down to her death in the well, I don't know if she said something or rather if it was just a thought she had where it's just, like, about having, you know, the perfect kind of uh, death fitting of a demon like her or something like that. And what do you know? Shit's gone freaking, uh, you know, real bad here. Uh, ah, ah. It would simply disappear, it wouldn't be fair if your beloved was left alive after all. <laughs> the moon looks very, uh, different tonight. I went out onto the balcony to avoid Fionn, who was on the other side of the door. If I jump over the railing to the neighboring apartment, I could reach the fire escape. <laughs> Eat shit, Sean. I leaned over the railing and jumped to the balcony next door. Then I rushed down the stairs, noiseless as a cat. Sean was too stupid to realize that I escaped. <laughs> it wouldn't take too long to get to Keiichi's house on a motorcycle. Sean must believe that I'm still in that room. She's so stupid. What the hell, Sean? What I find weird about all this, well, there's plenty of things I find weird about this, but one thing I find weird about this is she swapped places again to become Shion again, which she has always been this whole time, but she keeps acting like she's Mion, and then she's Shion. She just can't make up her mind on that. Shion must believe dreams and blah blah. And why is she continuing on with her plan all of a sudden here? <laughs> Soon enough, I could see the Maibara Mansion. I had never seen it before, but I'd heard a great deal about it from Xion. <laughs> she told me that Katie's room is on the second floor, so one of these windows must be... You know, that really is a weird-shaped house, isn't it? It's like a giant barn. I should wake him up, throw a stone. <laughs> I threw a couple of stones at the window, and shortly thereafter, the light turned on and the window opened. Imagine if it was his parents instead, he'd be like, Ah, oh, fuck, wrong window. I saw Keiichi there. The moment I saw him, my madness cooled off for a while. Even from there, I could tell that Keiichi was running down the stairs. He showed up quickly, with a doll in his hand. I felt depressed to see it. It was the doll he failed to give to Xion. It isn't fair, after all, Xion. I'm so jealous, hey Jan. I want to receive a doll from Sadoshikun too! <sighs> Mion! <laughs> it's been a while. How are you? Been doing alright. Despite the burning in Santu in me, I spoke to him calmly. Okay. How have you been? Doing alright? No, no, no. It's just. No. Ah, that's true. My body is controlled by the demon now. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here this late. <laughs> Are you right hanging around this place? I really shouldn't be. <laughs> anyway, what's wrong? What do you need at this hour? I wanted to talk to you one last time. I feel horribly sleepy. Maybe it's more like fainting due to loss of blood. <laughs> <laughs> that sensation is proof that the insanity is swallowing me. Well, I... <laughs> I can't stay for any longer. Are you alright? You're not feeling well. I tried so hard until now. <laughs> but I can tell. I'm done. This is my limit. There. You have to come up behind me to take me away. <laughs> I like how the dialogue keeps consistent. It's exactly how it was in Watanagashi. Only, you know, from Shion's perspective. I wouldn't get to decide how I die. Xion won't allow me to. No wonder I dropped her down the well. It wasn't only her, none of the people I killed just to die how they did. Considering that, deleting how I lie must seem a luxurious concern to the dead. <laughs> I 
Are you okay? Don't force yourself. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. You know what, Keiichi? Let's have one look at in Japanese. Just to see how that laugh looks. Ha 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 Nah, it looks more varied in English, really, doesn't it? Just a bunch of ha 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 While the English kind of like, uh, I know, kind of adds a bit more insanity to it. I mean, it's all like ha 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 But then it's like, figure ha ha I mean, they could have technically done that with the Japanese as well, but they didn't. I had something... I'll kill him, I'll kill him, kill him! I'll avenge the Dojikun's death, I'll avenge his death! This guy, she owns beloved, I hate her, I'll kill him and teach her a lesson! Eat this shit! <laughs> well, the gravity's pull spun around me. I realized that it stabbed him with a knife. <laughs> I made it. I made it in time. <laughs> it had that very s solemn music in the uh, question arc, but I guess the soundtrack has switched now, isn't it? So now we just get the insanity kind of effect. <laughs> I made it! I made it before Shion killed me! I got back at her! <laughs> Take that, Shion! <laughs> Get you rolled on the ground, clutching his stomach. <laughs> I've done it! I've done it all! That's everyone! I went to the kill! <laughs> Yeah, I did it, yeah. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I avenged your death, Sadoshiku. <laughs> no, you bloody didn't. Haven't we established that before, Chion? I mean, even you realized this isn't anything to do with Sadoshi anymore. You just lost it. Don't you love me for it? Will you stroke my head? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> after all that first line of dialogue, after all that is, yes. This was all a bad dream. After all, I was just in my room like always, suffering from nightmares of Xion. But, where was I now? I had been standing on my apartment's fire escape alone. I could still recall that dream. Yes, I had stepped out onto the veranda. My front door was still locked, so I had to climb through the veranda again. <sighs> hmm. Whoa! My foot had slipped and then I felt a floating sensation. After that, a sharp, indescribable pain ran through my head. That incredible pain finally cleared the fog away from my nightmare. I just slipped from the fire escape as I tried to return to my balcony and fell onto the roof, jutting out from the elevator, all two or three floors down. My room is on the eighth floor. I wasn't expected to be caught up here. When I fell, my head landed right on the concrete corner and I could feel both enormous pain and the warm blood dripping out. You know... How the fuck she able to even think this shit? Wouldn't she, like... I mean, wherefore like that, wouldn't she be insta-dead? Then again, there are cases where, like, people fall from incredible heights, even if it's fatal and all that. They just be like, I rushed into the hospital, and they're just like, oh, they died later on. It's like they were somehow still alive for a while there. I felt strangely calm. I couldn't sense a demon, Shion's ghost, or my grudge. I felt just like a baby. The nothingness brought peace to me. All my memories from when I was born and named me on up to, until today came to my mind. I guess that'd be your life flashing before your very eyes. I recalled memories of the time I'd spent with Soloshigun. Tears rolled down my cheeks. Where did I go wrong? When in my life did I make the wrong choice? 
I'd say, uh, actually, what was the first wrong choice she made there? I mean, her sanity slipped before she actually made, like, a big mistake, really, didn't it? I do know just where and when that was, because Dushkin reminded me. Leave Stoker to you. Sure. I believe you'll return. I'll be waiting for you. I'll take care of Sudoku. I'll wait for you with her. We'll be good girls. You left your precious sisters to me and nobody else. I guess I didn't get the significance of what you said. We'll be fine this time. I love you, Sudoku. Sudoku, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. Xion, I'm really sorry. Could I repay everything with my death? No way, right? That's not how it could, should be done. I want to going to stroke my head one more time. I want to hear him mumble one more time. I knew it was too much to ask. And so I had no other regrets. That brought an end to my apologies. I rolled over, sending myself falling to the ground. Wait, are you telling me? Wait, what? That doesn't even make any sense. I thought she already hit the ground. Was she able to think all that shit? It's... It's Tatari Goroshi 2.0 here, isn't it? With this, just like, how are you able to think all shit? Oh, heck, think back to my Yandere Chan LP. There's one ending where, like, the protagonist falls to their death, and they just have so much time to analyze the situation and think about a bunch of various shit. It's just like, it's like three or four stories, right, tall. You'd have hit the ground by the time you'd frickin' think even half, or even quarter of the shit that the protagonist fought. It makes no sense to me. I rolled over sending myself falling to the ground, head first. Ow. I hit my head would crack open to take me to the hell I deserved. I was just a demon. I belonged in hell. Why was I born? Why did this well give birth to me? I should have been born. I would have had to suffer if I hadn't been. What was the meaning of my meaningless life? If I wasn't born, nobody would have had to suffer. Thank you for treating me kindly, even though I was like this. Thank you for teaching me love, even though I was like this. Even though I was like this, even though. I'm really sorry, everybody. I really am. I'm sorry. If Satoshi Kun could give me an old chance, I wouldn't make the same mistake again. Never again. Ah, here comes the ground. Bye. I love you. <laughs> eh? So, her last memory before, or as, as she died, was of Satoshi. Of course it would be. I wish so many times that everything was a dream, so I wrote it down, hoping for it to become true. Dreams and cartoons are often like this. There's a huge stack of sweets, I can't possibly eat them all. I try to reach for them, but then somebody wakes me up. This dream has been tremendously long when I must have been sleeping for more than a year. Ah, that's right. I ran away from baseball practice. I stepped onto the street when the light was red and got hit by a motorcycle. I've been in a coma since then, but I finally woke up. When I open my eyes, I see a hospital ceiling. And Stutchkin looks at me from the bedside. Ha <laughs> ha that's a bit too perfect. But it's okay, right? It's okay for an end that way, right? Sorry that I was born. Do 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 I don't think I could play along in time here. Oh! Can't even set the microphone up properly. Oh, you son of a bitch! I was gonna try to play along to that. I can't even remember what key it was.
think it was like G minor or something. Can't really remember though. Doesn't matter. Because it's gone onto a different track. Alright, it's lunchtime. Hey, Rena, put our desks together. <laughs> My lunch is meatballs today. Sounds good. This old man will have some then. Rika-chan, bring your desk over. I'm coming. Whoosh! Ho oh, ho ho! Unfortunately, meatballs are my favorite too. I won't allow you to have any. Well, that's... that's a different sight. Oh, wait. Oh. I don't think we've ever seen Shion in school uniform before. In fact, we didn't see Shion at all in this entire arc because, well, she was the protagonist. So, Shion, despite you being a complete psycho for uh, the majority of Merkashi, it's nice to finally see you on screen again there. Unfortunately, I won't let you do that either, Satoko. You have to have some veggies, so I cooked some squash for you. You, you cooked Mr. Squash! How could you? That is harsh. Oh, that's harsh, Shion. I hate squash. I don't like it. Ah! How can you hate Mr. Squash? Don't be so picky about your food. Squash is very nutritious. You're still growing, so you need to think about things like that. As long as I live, I won't let you have an unbalanced diet. Here, guys, have some steamed squash. It's delicious. Ah, what have you done to me? Stoko, it's really sweet. She's eating me! Ah! That sounds wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's super good. The balance of flavors is perfect. Stoko, don't eat this. It's too good for you. Excuse me? I don't like your tone. Just try one. Take a bite. See? Isn't it good? Mmm. Well, it isn't so bad. Of course it isn't. I've been working hard every day to get you to overcome your dislike of squash. Okay, now that that's done, uh, with, why don't you overcome your fear of eggplants, green peppers, and asparagus within the year? Stop joking! At this rate, I'll transfer to a school in Oknimea. Come on, I'm in charge of your health since Toshikun asked me to take care of you. I won't let you eat junk food either. Oh, that is sadistic. Ah, I hate you, Shion-san. I hate squash. <laughs> what I find weird is here in the UK, there's also squash as a drink. Higurashi in the Kraikai, Kai, and it's like a juice where you add water to it. It's very nice. You know, despite the tragic ending, at least they had like a kind of dream what if scenario there. Tips a happy diary and decisions. Shimon unlocked revelation. Oh, that is a squash, isn't it? The revelation was a squash. Wait, how am I supposed to view the tips now then? That's how. It's a bit of a odd way to go through the tips, isn't it? Oh. Wh Holy shit! That's Shion and Mion's mother. That's the first time she's appeared on screen. Do 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 No, I'll just say something about Shion and Sudoku is... You may have noticed by now, if you've been watching all the arcs, uh, or have played them, but there is a distinct, uh, noticeable, there's a noticeable thing about them, and it's that each arc kind of plays out differently, like in Onikakushi, we, like, it introduced the characters really well, because it was like, it was just establishing things, but it was also creating the story, it set the tone, and it was like, 
you kind of saw how everything developed, but then you get to Watanagashi, and things are also, like, so different, like, the characters don't act quite the same, things don't play out the same way. And then the same thing happened with, uh, Tatari Goroshi, then when it got to, uh, Himatsubushi, it was like, oh, fuck that shit, let's focus on Rika, giving her more establishment, but let's give a newcomer protagonist into it, and not focus much on the other characters, which kind of made it kind of eh, but it kind of helped to establish things more. This was the antidote to Watanagashi, like I've said many times. So, the point of this is, like, in that scene that we saw, that dream-like kind of scene, that's kind of like, uh... Bird. It's like, in this arc, Shion went mental, right? But she didn't go mentally in, say, Tatari Garoshi, where she also appeared. In fact, her role in that was more of a cameo than anything else, essentially, wasn't it? But her relationship with everyone is kind of better, I suppose, in our arcs than it is in Watanagashi and Mekashi, essentially. So, that scene kind of uh, gives a bit of an example of that, in a way. But, as established, you know, we won't get to see any freaking Anstrox anytime soon, by the looks of it. Because they still haven't updated it. Oh, also, I've been playing this game right here. Uh, doesn't really, well, you can probably, I don't know. Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. It's pretty good, and it's free as well, so. That's why I played it. <laughs> I've seen the game before, but I've never played it. It's much like Higurashi in a way, you know, in that you look at the art style and you're just like, it's all cutesy and shit, and then it takes a dark turn the further it goes. It's like, oh, look at that, just like, oh, like in the mansion game, it's like, you got like cardboard cutouts of cutesy kind of uh, cartoony looking monsters, and they just come out, they scream at you usually, which is like, fuck. But it's like, after a while, you're just like, oh, that's all right. And then when there are monsters that start to come out and stalk and attack you, that's when shit gets intense as you're trying to get from one room to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. And there are a thousand rooms. It can get oddly terrifying. One section literally turned into Silent Hill. It had the fog. It had the Silent Hill 2 slash 3 kind of looking design of the walls and the doors and shit. And you're even being chased by a Silent Hill-esque monster that kind of resembled the uh, kind of uh, nurses you'd encounter in one of the Silent Hill games or something. It was quite effective. It's like... And even like the uh, cardboard cutouts would get you. Because after a while you'd be going through room after room after room and not encounter anything. And then you'll just suddenly just like be trying to get through the place quickly so you'll be sprinting then suddenly BAM it comes out the wall and you're like fuck they do it for a jump scare mansion they do it bloody effectively because it's not every single step of the way they pace it quite well but anyways we've got tips to do can't believe it man I'm finally concluding this and yet Still hasn't released the freaking other answer ox. Not even the freaking second one. Oh. I guess this is, uh. Continuing on. I thought it was going into another dream scenario here. But I guess not. I don't know who the hell's speaking here. Yes, when Mr. Kasai broke in, the room was empty and the window leading to the balcony was open. That was when she fell. She hit the elevator housing right beneath, which gave her a concussion. I think it'd give him more than that. Then she rolled off the roof and hit the ground, killing her. The reason Mr. Kasai didn't find her, even though he suspected her suicide, is that she was on the elevator housing at, the, at that time unconscious. Wait... So maybe that's why she was able to think so much. Maybe she fell, 
and survived the first fall, but then slipped again and didn't survive the second. Gichimaibara was stabbed at about the same time. Was Shion Sonozaki unconscious on the roof then? I doubt it. She must have snuck out of the building, stabbed Gaichi, then accidentally fell when she came back. Doesn't that sound right? Oh, would you look at the neighboring balcony again? Okay, I knew it. Wait. I knew it had to be Oishi, but he wasn't appearing on screen. Maybe it's because this is from his perspective. He's just saying you've got to call on line three. Oh, who is it from? Uh, Sato, apparently. He says the password is wrong. Is that one of them Ajong things again? <laughs> Hello. Ah, Sato-san. You must have some good news. Hello. You were right after all. Thank you. I'll buy you a drink on our road. What was that call about? Mahjong invitation. Bingo. The Sonenzaki sisters switched places. Mion is Shion and Shion is Mion. They made a mistake when they were supposed to tattoo the successor. So Mion and Shion were swapped around in this notebook. So then Sonenzaki and Shion san No, Mion san this is confusing. Anyway, with that, you gain a clear understanding of the relationship. I think they must have found her diary then. I mean, <laughs> we've seen entries from it, and we can uh, kind of get how confusing that must be for, like, like Oishi and all that to try and interpret, because as she descended further into madness, she went from, you know, being herself Shion to suddenly seeing herself as Mion. And like all this hallucination shit and it's just hard to interpret, isn't it? You talking about a mysterious notebook you received the other day. Didn't you say it was all mumbo jumbo that could possibly confuse the case? Even after switching the names, it's still confusing. I don't know how much of the content I can trust. Even if this is true, Riga Friday's death seems very suspicious. It's a diary of a lunatic. It drove me nuts when I read it. You know this line on the last page about how she's sorry for being born? That makes me want to jump out the window. Well that, well, well she did, well, she tried to get into the window and fell, technically in her case. I mean, he's right, it's the diary of a lunatic, but it's the lunatic that, you know, caused everything there. She lost her goddamn mind. Even so, this is a happy diary. A uh, happy diary. Do you know how many times Sonochi-kun's name appears in this notebook? Shion-san really loved him, but because she was so young, a few mistakes caused that love to be misdirected. Misdirected in a very, very significant way. There's not even a soundtrack playing. It's just like, oh, uh, here's uh, here's Mama Sonozaki. I don't, I can't remember her first name. It's just like we haven't seen her on screen, but here she is. I have no idea. I, I'm gonna assume she on here. Wait, yeah, probably is. Hey, mom, tell me, why did you have a fight with a hag? It was bad enough that she disowned you, right? You're so noisy about everything. Well, I guess you're old enough to know. She objected when I told her I wanted to marry your father. Eh? What? I was living a very unseemly life back then. Then the man I brought home was the Yakuza. So, of course, she got terribly upset. She said, the head of the family will choose your fiancé. And I said, screw your decisions, you fucking virago. <laughs> virago. So, then we both tried to cut each other down on the, uh, on the spot. Wow, that's quite something. We went Chief Takatana's in the living room and clashed and slashed and sliced. <laughs> yeah, you fought that hag with a sword? Way to go, Mom. I wonder if this is when Shion, or maybe it's even Mion, whichever, was younger. Well, I was into martial arts when I was young. Both she and I held high ranks in Kendo, so yes, it was quite the show. 
Everybody in the nearby was terrified. Ah, that was fun. I see, so is that why you were disowned? That's right, I was happy for it. I married your father right away. Well, I was forced to remove my fingernails in atonement, though. See how the fingernails in my left hand look ugly? Wow, so that's why you and the hag have a bad relationship, huh? <laughs> you know what, Shion? That's not actually true. Our relationship is actually pretty good. What? That can't be right. She has to maintain the family's reputation, so she can't treat me normally. And accordingly, I lay low on the family councils, at the family councils. But I visit her every now and then, and we have tea together. I can't believe it! So it's just between you and me, okay? She removed her fingernails in atonement a long time ago herself. Look carefully at her hand the next time you see her. What? What did she do? It's me, I don't have a clue. Hey, you, uh, uh, hey, you do have one. It's all over your face. Tell me! <laughs> she even unlocked Detective Merkashi. I like to side from the fact that there was no soundtrack in that whole scene. Yeah, there was no soundtrack in that entire scene. I liked how Kasa is just kind of standing there, but he never says anything in that scene. How random. Can't believe it, man. The staff room. <clears throat> I don't want to go to the staff room yet, because that would be like the conclusion for this. I don't know if I want to like make my own kind of uh, uh, all cast review session, just manually make my own or not for each of these answer arcs. Because that will be a pain in the ass, I'll have to find like, uh, you know like pictures that are transparent where they have the transparent background and they have a person or whatever on it. but. It's like you could like insert a car a person here and they wouldn't have a background around them so it'd blend in perfectly. I'd want to find like a bunch of those for each character and then then I might potentially make my own one. Because the staff room is well is his name I think his name is here. Somewhere somewhere over the menu where is his name there there it is Ryuki Shio 07 is gone uh, talk about shit it's essentially an interview with what well, I assume must be the main writer I think he was also the artist as well for the original art I don't know how many people actually, like, it's 7th expansion, right? But, it's obviously maybe a small group of people that worked on it. Or maybe even one person, but I assume it was a few people, I'd imagine. But essentially, it's just an interview with him. I think he, like, talks about the arcs. Obviously, kind of makes sense. Which is nice, but, you know, the fact that they discontinued the old cast review session. I mean, that was awesome, man. Why couldn't he do the same for the answer arcs? I would have loved to know Oh, everyone, the, the character's thoughts on this arc. Can you imagine Satoko's reaction to that? He's like, Shion, why did you kill me? God damn it! You crazy bitch! And then you try to act like you really care? What the hell was that all about? I don't know what kind of script I'd write if I do actually make my own version of that, but whatever. See you next time for the finale, potentially, probably, of this arc. I mean, we've already seen the finale, but you get the idea. And there's still nothing, no other releases, and that pisses me off. I've been, like, trying to just, like, well, I've been uploading and recording the usual shit, really, here. But I tried, like, when it was like, I think there was a bit of days that I took off between the fourth question arc, the final question arc, and, you know, the uh, first answer arc here. It was just like, okay, maybe if I stall for a bit of time, they might release it before I even begin. And then I was like, fuck it, start the recording for it, and we're at the end now, and still nothing. What the hell is the hold up, you know? Anyways, though, I'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time.